Hey, hi guys. Uh, today I'll show you one end-to-end -end replication cycle of uh, from CFIN perspective. Uh, we will create accounting document, we will create a CO document, and we will create internal order in ECC. And we will see the replication happening through AIF in S4 HANA. Yeah. So let me start. I will first create do a first round, which is uh, I'll post an accounting document in ECC. So I will go to FB01 and I will just use my reference document. It is not working. I will take this one and I will say testing for uh, demo. And I will post it, for example, 99 euros. And I will also make other line 99 just to identify. And I will say test, test, and I will post it. The moment I post it, it will generate a document number in ECC. And then we will see document number coming in S4. So we go here, we save it now. We have a document number one, some zeros and one three in company code EC01. Now I will go to my S4 HANA system and I will see the AIF. So I go here, I go to IFMON and I will select only today's so that you know you don't confuse with the data. I will just select uh, 1st of March here and I will see there are a few documents, accounting documents, and I will find it out my document, uh, which is here, this one. So in CFIN, it is saying company code CFIN, CFN3, and document number is 16011. We will see this document now. We go to FB03, 16011, and we go CFN3, and we go 2021. Document number is wrong. Oh, one, six times zero, one, one, what we did. Uh, not this one, display document, oh, six times zero. Yes. So this is my document. And if I go to my header, I will see the original document which I posted in ECC. You see the client number, the source company code posted by myself and sender document number. The moment I click sender document number, it directly take me to the ECC system. You see at the bottom here, we are now in ECC system. It calls through RFC and it shows me the original document. So that's how system replicated the accounting document from ECC. It was posted in company code EC01. If you see at the header, company code was EC01 and here company code is CFN3. Document number was one sometimes 013. Here it is one sometimes 011. And GL accounts are changed based on the mapping we have done and you post it for 99 euros. So this is your FI replication. In the same way, now we will do a CO replication. Let us go in ECC back and we post a CO document. I will just do a manual reposting. I will say testing for demo and I will select my, something went wrong, KB11N, test for demo. And I will select my cost center. Let's say in EC01, I have two. I will say take north and cost element this amount 90,000 euro and put it to another cost center, which is DE south. And I say test. I post this document. So now my CO document is three, sometimes 0005. I will check that in ECC as well. I will see if it is in COBK table uh, in my controlling area. Here I have 
three, sometimes zero, zero, seven, uh, five posted by myself just now. Now we will go back to AIF again. We refresh. And now you see there is a CO document here. In SAP S4, it has given me document number uh, C2, sometimes 0105 and an accounting document 230005. So my document is replicated uh, for C as well. And in AIF, it is visible here in your CO document flow. Now the last part, we will also create one internal order and we will see how that passes. And we will see the update of the assignment table. So I will go back to ECC. I will go to KO01. I will create one internal order. I will say testing for demo by Nitin. And I will just give the relevant fields external order number test. I say, okay, save it. It's okay. So my order number is 100, 100, very nice number. So now we will see in AIF uh, how this 100, 100 pass. Now we go to AIF and I will come out. Oh, sorry, I did, should not have come out. I will just select again, I will give current date, I could have refreshed. Uh, I will say, okay, what happened today? Today is my first of March. And then I select, I will select CO documents, sorry, cost objects. And if I see cost of objects, I have my cost object coming here. So 100, 100 is replicated. Now I want to see what is the data created in S4 side. Yeah, that is very important to see mapping of this internal order. So I will go to SE16N and there is an assignment table for internal orders, FIN, CFINT, ASGMT. I will just uh, give my order ID from system 100, 100 and the logical system was uh, EPD. And now if I execute, Oh, local object ID, okay, let me run it blank. Okay, 100, 100, we have here uh, 100, 100 in source is created as 2027 in target. So this was just an overview of how end-to-end -end cycle of CFIN runs. We covered accounting document, we covered CO document, and we covered uh, cost object. I will create more video with other objects replication. So stay tuned and uh, stay in touch. Thank you.